Okay. Let's see how fast we can do it. It's like for the non-necro guys. So the reason why we want to do the teleport at level 1 is because we snapshot the bounty monsters themselves, like the objective monsters and stuff around them at level 1. And also the monsters around the area from the waypoint. So it's like very easy to just like do the bounties basically. But there's no point to make a new game after level 10. Like you want to do it all for starting from level 1. That's the whole point because it's easiest there. And now you've already done like two bounties and they don't give you anything. You don't do the bounties for the bounties sake, you do them to uh, get the cash at moment 1. And we got Sultan Core, cool. let's try it. Is the puzzle done with a wizard on Tom and 1? Nah, don't do a wizard. And realistically, which like has like the best chances after Necro. It doesn't matter which class you do it with, because after this he's gonna make your main class anyway. And once you have the level 60 weapon, it takes like 3 minutes and you're back to the level that you were, anyway. Once you have the stuff unlocked. It's just all about getting to 18, doing the bounty, and unlocking the no vanilla requirements. I'm hitting the wrong guy all the time. I have to hit this guy. Pretty tough here, though. Definitely gotta be a bit more careful, yeah, because you have to hit the right guy, the splinter, or what is a poison dart. And I've got to uh, teleport around again. That's what I was, but okay, it's level 4. It's not too bad. So do this. Yeah, Blood Stash is a hard one. Clear Eastern Channel. I guess we actually start with the Eastern Channel. Oh, got a weapon. It's kinda neat. So call spiders. Level 4 is called Spider, it's kinda nice. Level 3 is the dogs. Hello, Wismar Hill. Firebats, really nice CPS and single targets. Hmm. We could try, I guess. Four hundred seventy five. Yeah, I ripped earlier, so let me try again. I've been kind of a bit careful here with getting stuck. If you get stuck on Tone 1, you can die quite easily. Shit. Well, not all the mobs are the level that you were at teleporting. But uh, the monsters that are loaded, and I mean the game loads them in a very weird way sometimes, but generally the, the quest monsters, if they are like, on the map already, they will be level, that level at least. Maybe some of their like guarding monsters. And also all the monsters that are like nearby around the waypoint are also going to be low level. But for example here, like teleporting to this bounty didn't do anything for example, this, like, because it's level 2. So there's like a different zone, this was not loaded. Yeah, these guys are level 6 now actually. You can see that they're tanky. But after this, I'm gonna be like level 10 or something, I'm gonna go to the other zones, and it's gonna be like easy peasy. At least partly.
Ernest clear level 2 is not too bad, I guess. This takes a while to get here. Fifth forty eight F. I don't think so, nice to see you. So let's let's try to fire bats since someone suggested it. Let's see what happens. I kinda like the grass of the dead because it's like extra damage passively kind of. But it seems to do actually pretty solid damage here to fire bats if you channel them. As long as I take too much damage while doing so. And I also ran out of mana. Yeah, I'm not sure if Fibers is really the play. I think just throwing the spiders is fine. They do 576% total weapon damage. I'm not sure if that number is accurate, but it's definitely going to be quite high. Oh, was that actually a chest? It's level 2 Barney. Is there a chest at the end of this? Too late to find out, I guess. Level 10. Okay, not quite there yet. So cross the dead again. And let's do blood statue, it's like. Actually, let's do Blast Dash once we have our level 11 weapon. Let's do Samash. It's a short bounty. We should be like level 11 or 12. And we should be fine. Class of Vest of Solo XP. Uh, right now, it's looking, looking like Monk Barley with Half Light again. Light is pretty good. You see here, these guys die instantly now. Some of them. Not all of them. This guy here, the Vicious Mangler? I'm not sure if he's like, hold up. But some of the other monsters definitely are. So he's skilled to do this like much easier. Yeah, I should always wait for the final, final patch notes to make like your final decision, guys. But for now, Richard was not really crazy. Crusaders also no. Yeah, Call Explosion helps a lot, I gotta say, when you play Necro. Kill like the small dudes and explode the rest. Here you just throw out a hundred spiders. At least this guy will die fast now. Maybe? I didn't snapshot him at level 1. It was like level 4, I believe. So not as easy as it could be. I guess it's like already like triple the HP than normal or so. So I keep forgetting it every time. I'm trying to get into the cellar there. I can probably just TP out, actually. Okay, get the Raven Dogs. It's kind of nice. Let's get the Enchanter's Weapon. We should be kind of chilling now. It's actually 38.5 this time. Look at that. Anything else? Oh, Haunt. Wait. Do we do that instead of... Let me try this instead of the spiders. Maybe you have the mana for it. Mana region is 50. And this costs 50, so I can do it once per second. That should be more than fine, actually. Wait, is it right here? Blood statue? Ooh, nice. This stuff hurts, though. Man, these guys are killing me. 
Yeah, well, yeah, my mana is like insta full all the time, so that's good. And one horn probably kills one monster, easy. So it's actually one shotting them just for the delay. Yeah, level 11 for the weapon for Enchantress. Yeah, this makes the later bounties definitely very easy here. With Haunt and the weapon. I killed Salt and Cool this time. Salt and Cool is better. Magda also works. Right. And now it's only one bounty left. It's actually a pretty fast run. It's 11 minutes. You have four bounties done. It's not bad. Get zombie charger. What about um, Spirit Walker? Spirit Walker is level 16, I believe. Yes, you can do Horrify though. Horrify is not bad. You can get Phobia. Don't do the rune. Do the the rune. Don't want to fear stuff away, I guess. Just have some protection. Start the movement of Let's Make Jade Harvest Set Great Again. I am with you, actually. Jade is cool. At level 16, you definitely want to get Spirit Walk just so you can't die from getting stuck. But yeah, Haunt is so strong, man. It's just a one shot everything. It's just like Haunt everything once and you're done. You're dying though. What's going on? It's like to heal and stuff. Apparently, I'm in combat. These guys just go invisible, man. Leave me alone. Now the thing is, if I have like three targets only, I can't really do extra damage with my setup right now. I'll just haunt them. That's fine, I guess. This guy dies super fast though, what? How come? <laughs> Why is he Why is he dying so fast? Compared to this blue pack. Those guys too. Will pools be useless in season 28? No, they will be OP. How you kill stuff on T1? Well, Haunt is balanced, I heard. So. Okay, that's a lot of guys here. Two piece J should be baseline for Haunt. <laughs> If you want to make the skill even more balanced. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was a good idea to uh, pull the elites. Let's see what else is here. These guys are tanky now suddenly, like really tanky, look at this. Why?
Yeah. I got two elite packs here, so we definitely shouldn't have fought. It's just like, should have gone left or so after seeing this. It's like one more room. But probably be enough, we have to go there anyway. Holy. Reminds me of Diablo 2 spiders, man. They hurt. Oh, they even get Consuming Spirit. This is Life Regen, which is kind of nice. You turn in this thing. This was 15 and a half minutes. So actually almost a Necro time. Now I go for the cube. Yeah, it might be like a little bit slower than Necro, but it's not like the slowest run I've done for this. Let's go hard. So like easy peasy, walk through this. Worst class is Crusader. Uh, in general, I'd say yes. Crusader has like no group viability at all. Yeah, besides bombardment, not really great farming builds either. Let's do this. We have to Gark. Gark is fine, I guess. Get some extra damage. Can we destroy doors? Yes. Oh, it destroys the door and goes to the enemy, actually. That's kind of neat. <laughs> Look at my life going up now. Kind of funny. So now you just do like a nice massacre chain, get the cube, and then you're basically guaranteed level 18 after all of this, even on life server. Already 20 something here of a massacre chain going on. Fleeting, kind of nice. I think it should be here. Yeah, we're doing a cube. We want to have the cube unlocked. It's not really a reason not to take it already, especially if you potentially still need levels. Like, you might not be level 18. You have to go with this character until level 18, so... I did, like, a long round for nothing, because I have to go bottom left. Apparently. Elio, PK, thank you for Brian. Local Summit 21. Yeah, maybe I can change it on a level change. But Local Summit without the Pestilence Rune is not that crazy. You have to get the Pestilence Rune. Then it's fine. So I'll probably, yeah, I'll swap out the Grass of the Dead, I guess. But not for now. It also costs a lot of mana. It costs 300 mana, I have to consider that. We don't have anything for mana gain right now. I'm just like keeping my mana up because I'm casting so slow. Okay, keep the massacre chain, we keep going. So if you actually need any levels and you get the chest here at the end, you have like a 400 plus massacre, yeah, you're gonna be chilling. Easy 18, for sure. Swarm keeps up the bonus. Yeah, I know, but... Doesn't really matter much now. It's very easy to keep it up as a Witch Doctor with this double duration, even without. We 
think they're gonna change the node with no uh, level no level requirements. I love changing that. One thing they're definitely going to change is the pylons, I think. Maybe some other small tweaks, but something like the no level thing, I mean that's kinda neat, I guess. Yeah, it makes leveling a bit crazy and stuff, but I mean who really cares, I guess. Do we have fetishes already at level 20 something? It would be nice to just walk through the boss. Unleash the fetish army. Oh look here, here's a chest. <laughs> Could a big massacre now if you wanted. Alright, there's a 21 minutes for the bounty here. And the cube. That's good. And now like one or two boss kills, 22, 23 minutes. It's like almost a necro time actually. Actually let's see if you have Sultan Cool. We see the level boost questions in chat. Oh yes, of course. We got Magda here. Well, I guess we do Magda, it's fine. Do you have like anything that helps us in any way? Do you do poison damage? I guess that, that pets do, but I'm not sure if that counts on me. Yeah, I need to be level 18 so you can get gems. I mean, don't have to do this if you got lucky while doing the bounties and got like a gem goblin. And you got two diamonds there, but that's unlikely, so... How's the second blaster of the house? Good. Looking at the surface, it seems. Oh, even normal man, she doesn't die that fast, but it's okay. Yeah, now I need to have call spiders or something or some extra single damage. Maybe just have the grass with the dead. Has 8 seconds cooldown, does 1300%. Maybe instead of the soul harvest, there's not really a reason to have soul harvest, as well as. Could do call spiders instead, just throw them. Diamond, diamond, ruby. Okay, that was a lot of gems, and we got it. Boom. Even got a helm here. No, that's pants. Here's a helm, no socket, F. Yeah, now we just go to Altar, unlock the uh, no level requirement, and then we start blasting. I need to stop blasting anything right now. What is the fastest way to get the other 160k gold? Well, at this point, you're gonna take another 60 weapon and go into Temple of the Firstborn. Or do more bounties. So if you wanna do SSF, this, this might be something I might do. I'm just gonna start doing bounties on Torment 1 or something, or Torment 2. And then you have to go easily, but even just going Temple of the Firstborn, you have the Cursed Chest event. You have the event when you go to level 2. Uh, those, those give you like 30k gold every time, or 40k or something like that, on like Torment 4. So you do that like 2 runs and you have your gold. Actually, should we just like continue with Witch Doctor and see how long it will take compared to the Necro? It would be kind of interesting to see, I guess. Yeah, you do the sacrifice, you get the items have no level requirement. And I guess now we blast, so let's, let's continue the timer. And let's just see how it goes. We buy something here. Vitality. Vitality. Get some for our trusty Templar as well. To this. Do 
26 int. So let's try to get a weapon that has int and life if you can. I usually go with the swords. You craft the exalted sword, that's the level 61. You got... Wait, I crafted the wrong... <laughs> okay, this doesn't count. I crafted the one-hander. <laughs> Whoops. But it has the perfect stats, man. Okay, let's do this one. And it's actually beautiful with the cooldown on top. Ah, uh, resource works as well. That's nice. Okay. The Int and Vitality are the two stats you want on them, because it's really high values. And now we blast. Let's see if we can find a helm that has a socket. No. Okay, we're still in normal though, so we have to go new game. Now we do like... Let's do like a Tom and 4 run. That should be okay. What was the slowest? I think Demon Hunter or Wizard. I don't have certain times in my head right now. Oh, we have Essential Spirits, that's very nice. Later you take ling Lingering Spirit, that's very good. Uh, we have Spirit Walk. Uh, let's keep the Garg for now. I don't think there's really that much else. Although we can do Pestilence. Oh, almost actually. Let's get Pestilence, level 27. It's gonna kill a few things here. Yeah. And then we drop the grass out of that, I guess. Yeah, it's really fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can keep this for now. Actually, the Horrify is probably better for the defense. Instead of the Garg, just having the Horrify helps us so much with survival. Let's do Stalker. Let's do Lifelink. Okay, so you have a bit of protection now. You should be kind of fine. But you see how much damage they deal. Don't, like having the Spirit Walk and the Horrid Fire is really good. And now you just blast basically. Then after two runs, roughly, you have the gold for getting your level 70 weapon. You upgrade your 60 weapon to a 70 weapon. And there you go. It's a good start here actually. Hey Dreadscythe. For Wiz, even though you have a decent amount of options for Wizard. Would be better to do staffs and try to get Meteor. I did try a Meteor leveling run and was not really impressed. The thing is that... I mean, it might be okay once you get it, but the Meteor unlocks very late. It unlocks at like a level 30-something, I believe. So even if you get that, like, Grand Vizier... If you get Smoldering Core, it's useless. If you get Grand Vizier, it's kind of useful. But it gets, you, it gets unlocked very late. So realistically, you want to do a Wand. Especially because there's two ones that you want for the Typhon build. And there's only like nine ones in the game or something. So there's like a two out of nine or whatever to hit one of the weapons that you want after you get Hedrick. Yeah, 30k gold from the chest. Oh. Okay. And which like the leveling is so cool. <laughs> All the, like most of the classes are actually pretty cool leveling, besides like the age and wizard and I actually enjoyed all the leveling. Barb is kinda cool. Uh, anything here? It's close. Stuck. It's a lot of guys. I did see the shrine. What is that? Empowered. Ugh. That would be a nice shrine. Take the enlightened instead, I guess. Yeah. I'm gonna do like some 600, 700 massacre here. Got to be like a little 50 something already.
And the good thing is that if you need the bugs for the massacre chain, you just don't do locust storm actually. If you have to kite them for a little while, even if they die really fast, you don't kill them all at once. If you don't do pestilence. Then here now I just cast it because I'm already there. So I can like slowly kite them and then kill them all at the end when there's more monsters. It's pretty good. Oh, I think died super fast. F. Yeah, I think that's it then. 46. Let's do one more round with the with this weapon here. Let's get Spirit Vessel though. So we're kinda of chilling. Let's do a soul to waste for the speed. Stalker is fine, Life Link is fine. Let's do Lingering Spirit, which is probably better than a double. Yep. Field is better for Witch Doctor. Oh, Fears of Misery. Hmm. Might actually be true. Maybe it's better just like going for the higher uh, monsters, basically, but it's very dangerous. Got a helm that sucks, but it has a socket. I like the Star Wars mug. Yep. PTR got an unknown amount of more or less voluntary extension. Yes. This guy's hurt now. Templars insta dead. Guess we should have gone Tormund 3 here. This is a bit too much. Now let's see if we're careful. We have cheat death. Levels there in one go. <laughs> Got like 20 levels in the previous run. Yeah, I also know that some people level a witch doctor in the eternal woods, which is also not bad. I could try that maybe. Let's see how that feels. Gotta just go in. Do we do bad medicine? Do we do poison damage? This is poison damage. Yeah, yeah, fetish took a fun still. It's kind of nice. Let's try to get some items, maybe. We, just, we have the gold at this point to buy something, but I don't have the gold to craft a little 70 weapon. So, let's do this, let's do this. Kind of nice. Kind of nice. Kind of nice. It's not eternal woods. I haven't ever really gone there. Wouldn't it help to craft high level 70 armor of int and mortality on all gear? Sure. But it's a bit impossible to do when you don't open the cache or don't have someone else crafting it for you. Ah, these guys are also tanky here. So it'd be like a Tormund 2 run, maybe. Wanna do that? Yeah, it's too much. Let's try Temple. Tormund Freya. Yeah. Enough density at Grey Hollow. I've never seen anyone level in Grey Hollow. It's usually Eternal Woods. For Witch Doctor, I've seen that in the past. Fears of Misery, I've also seen. That was usually Fears of Misery was usually a play before they ever introduced the Necromancer. Yeah, Tom and Frigo is pretty smooth. Just get our sheet death back and we are chilling. Mm-hmm. 
Never go the right way, man. I gotta be a bit careful with the mana. So you don't want to use the pestilence too often. Else you just run out of mana. But if you do this use it like once every like 20 seconds or so, you're usually fine. Just no, Tom and Free is good. To go there on the left, because there's probably more bugs. Uh, this is a circle, I guess, so we should go down. Actually, if I had like a little bit of air damage here, it would be really nice to just kill most of the bugs and like. A few shots, basically. Because you just like do a few horns and then you poke the air damage continuously from the dot and everything just dies. I'm not sure if I have any, but even like one, you know, 10% air damage roll or so would probably be enough to just kill everything here. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be like 50. If I, if I go like. The floor too, maybe like 56, 57, it's actually perfect. Then we get our level 70 weapon and do the same again. And we can do like a big massacre chain to like level 64, 65 maybe. Oh, not here. Close. I think I ran too far away and the uh, horns just timed out and actually didn't kill the last guys. Okay, I have to make sure that we horn the guys in the middle because those are the ones that give you the, the ritual completion because these guys just die too fast and she might not be able to carry it over. Okay, it worked. Sorry, Shaken. Yeah, it's false movements crawls uh, many circles. Let's see, when did we start this run? Like 47? We got like 4 level ups. Yeah, that massacre should give me like pretty close to 60, I think. Might be faster than Necro. Let's see. Oh, 54 only, really. Anyway, it's level 70 weapon time. It has life per hit. Okay, this is sick. Let's do torment 4, I guess. Maybe we could do torment 5, but it's hardcore. On softcore, we'll try torment 5. Gark is stronger with Cleave than what exactly? But yeah, ended like the gifts ended. Exactly.
PTR is the new season? That's actually not untrue, man. I think there's a lot of people that actually play PTR more than real season. <laughs> because there's like funny stuff to test and try and like broken builds and... You can do anything you want without any work. Now this is super smooth there, actually. We could have tried Tom on 5, I guess. Man, this Voodoo Mask looks so cool. I don't want to have right now. Okay, Tom 4 is probably the player here. Some of these guys are tanky, especially the pack. This will ever here. I'd like to open a chest, but I don't think it's happening. Oh, nice. Can we go at the bottom? Okay, that's a bit. Uh oh. That's very empty. We got some stuff here. Oh, it's gonna be like another. Yeah, we're gonna end up at like 59. It's probably fine. If we get like 59 with a 600 massacre, we should reach like 63 at least, 64 even on the massacre chain. Maybe like two runs maybe, and we're done. Like Tormund 2. Change my uh, horror, my horrified rune here. As a rune at level 56, you get it. it. Gives you mana. It's very nice. You can like, insta refill your mana every time you press horrify. It's pretty sick. Okay, remember you haunt the guys in the middle because they need to die for the event. And then you try to keep some of the other guys alive while this thing is unlocking. Uh oh, they're all dying. Alright, let's go. This is how you keep the massacre. There's no crucibles next season, but there is the crucible effect in the cube now, without the powers. I can make primals. It's pretty good. Alright, it's actually almost perfect here. We probably would end up somewhere at level 60, but it's okay. And now log out before the massacre chain finishes, guys. <laughs> it keeps going, man. Oh, 65, dude. Sick. 
Uh, should we try Torment 1 or Torment 2? I'm gonna try Torment 2. Let's try and get some RS gear. You wanna get the high level items now? I didn't change anything for Witch Doctor. That's a lot of damage, but... Okay, Ruthless Terror is the rune, and also we go the Spirit Walk with Speed. This is Vitality, Vitality and Socket, I think that's not bad. Can put this, can put this. Let's check the other vendors. Yeah, Severance is the rune for Spirit Walk. We keep the Leeching Beast here, I think that's not bad. This is a very nice one. Uh, that's the downgrade, I guess. This is fine. We'll get this for the Templar. And let's get this. Yeah, I probably couldn't really buy many more items than that. Let's do like maybe one or two more maximum. Let's check here one more time. These things actually are slightly better, but whatever. A nice amulet. Do we have like any low level stuff now? Grace, uh, is there anything? Check back to five. Can't do that. No, this is not bad. Okay, let's go with this stuff, so we're not gonna make it too crazy. Home 2 should be okay. Should we gamble for something? Uh, you have zero blood shards basically, unless you find a. Uh, oh, you have like 20 blood shards from the T1 bounty at the start. This is no cash leveling, guys. No gambling. Okay, I can't really tell like, how tangy these guys are right now. White. But it seems okay. I mean, it should be relatively safe on Torment 2. 3000 in the Natalia. Oh, actually, it seems to continue here. Let's go. Now, if you do like another 600 Massacre, you might be really close to 70 after this. So either this or next round we're gonna be pretty much done. It's gonna be a faster time than Necro, the way it looks. Just witch doctor things. Oh I forgot creeping death actually. You're level 65, I should have taken creeping death. That would actually help a lot. Maybe I can slot it in. Somehow I managed to get out of combat. Just see where my passes are though. I think if we're gonna replace the jungle fortitude now. For creeping death. Show you one uh, get those Marquis gems, yeah. Okay, there's like no way to get out of combat here. Just go. Here we go. We got Bane here. And a protection. Okay, Bane is not dying. Thanks for effort for this guy. Would be a good idea for group leveling to snapshot T6 game at level 1? Uh, yes. But realistically... You don't really care much about the bounties in a group. If, unless no one wants to open the challenge with cash. But if you're in a group, then usually the, you know one or two supports will open the cash and you're chilling. So you don't really have to do the bounties at all. Um, 
Oh, this is a circle actually, you have to go down. Problem, what do I do? Run! There's two yellow items and I can't pick them. Okay. Maybe could have picked them actually, we had like three seconds. Oh, I got Bracer. Wait. They have nothing. It's gonna go through the room, not down. Who knows? Well, I'll make sure I get the massacre all the way to the end here. That's actually a bunch of stuff. Let's try to haunt the guys in the middle again. Get those first. Now, with Creeping Death as a passive, I probably could have done this on Torment 3 here. But okay. I got like 700. I had a swivel. Don't need to click the pools, guys. Do nothing here. Well, they do a tiny bit, I guess. It'll be nice if you run past a pool, but yeah, here's one. <laughs> but realistically, you don't really care much about them before 70, so. Or even after 70, until like higher paragons. Or at least after. Uh, until you unlock the thing. This is cold damage. Uh, the haunt is actually cold. Let's take this one. Alright. 70. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> 52 minutes. And that's with the Witch Doctor start as well, not the Necro start. That was a good run. Yeah, on live server, we don't have the XP buff from the PTR. But it wouldn't be much slower, because I think the XP buff does not apply to the Massacre Chains. Because you see this here, for example. Um, I went from like level 65 and something to 67 while doing the kills with the 100% bonus. So I would have been like 65 to 66, roughly. And then I got the remaining levels all from the Massacre Chain. I don't think that the Massacre bonuses are amplified by the XP bonus here. At least that's my uh, feeling. 